Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel. And of course, as we are only eight days away from the last patch Tuesday of 2020 of Windows 7, well, of course, a lot of people have questions. A lot of people are panicking, worrying. Um, so, of course, I got a lot of questions uh, during the holiday season. Some of the questions, of course, first of all, there's a lot of people thinking that Windows 7 is going to stop working. And no, it's not. It still works. It's still going to continue working. Just like Windows XP machines from 20 years ago are still working today if the hardware is okay. The thing is, it's really related to security. It's because you won't have security updates what's going to happen is that you will be more and more vulnerable as time goes by. So um, if you aren't moving ahead, if your PC maybe is too old, you're not thinking of buying a new one, and Windows 7 is your last option, well, remember that there are ways to um, kind of mitigate or you know make sure that you are at the safest point possible. Always remember that the number one security is you. So, first of all, be careful what you do on the Internet if your Windows 7 machine still goes on the Internet. That is a big, big measure of you being safe where you are actually going on the web. Of course, you're not going to be in a problem yet. There's an update coming next Tuesday for Patch Tuesday, which means for a month or two, you probably, unless there's some really big deal, um, you know, zero day uh, exploit that could be a problem, you should be fairly safe for the first few months. But that will fade away as the, um, you know, unpatched security holes will be more and more. The first point in time where you will be more vulnerable pretty much officially will be in Patch Tuesday of February. Why? Because every time there's a Patch Tuesday, it also uh, will reveal to bad guys what are the problems in the operating system. And you might say, well, yeah, but they won't you know, reveal Windows 7 security holes. Well, you can actually look at the security holes in Windows 10, Windows 8, and go back and say, well, these must probably be also in Windows 7 because there are some common grounds. And uh, those, of course, are all, there's so many of these flaws that are on all versions of Windows. So really, your first moment when slowly it's going to start creeping in is Patch Tuesday of February. So until Patch Tuesday of February, you might be relatively safe in general. Remember that if you keep a browser up to date that also will keep you safe so as long as you can update that browser that web browser Google Chrome uh, Firefox or whatever browser you're using you will be okay at some point because that is one other way of mitigating it's going to prevent some of the exploits not all of them but some of them remember that if you're using the Windows Security Essentials security app for Microsoft, that is going to stop being updated starting next week. So that means that you will actually need to replace that with something else. So you can get yourself an antivirus of some sort that will be supporting Windows 7 for a while. Now, a lot of you have been asking, how long will my software work? Well, actually, regular software that doesn't need regular updates continues to work. Um, what's going to happen is that each company is different. So each company is going to assess how long they will actually continue supporting Windows 7 with their software. It all has to do with numbers. The more people still on Windows 7, the longer that support will be. As of today, we're you know around 26% of users on Windows 7 still. That's still a lot of people, so a lot of companies will continue to do some updates to their software. 
yet, as time goes by, some will start saying, okay, this is the last version of this software. Of course, not all browsers will stop being updated at the same time. So if, for example, Google stops updating Chrome, well, you can move to Firefox or Opera or whatever version that is still being updated. And you'll be, um, you know, once again, it's very relative, but you'll be somewhat safe. And of course, the last but not least thing that is important to know, if your machine is controlling something, if your machine is being used offline all the time, no internet, there's no problem. You're safe. As if your Windows 7 machine is not on the internet, if it does something else, maybe it's a gaming machine, all you want to do is play some games. Just, you know, off the internet, it's going to be okay for years to come as long as the hardware holds up. And finally, the other question, some people are saying, well, is it still um, valid to upgrade to Windows 10 for free? You'll have to try with two ways. Um, either go to the website, Microsoft Windows 10 website, click that update button, and see if it upgrades for free. Or um, if you have a valid Windows 7 or Windows 8 key, you can try the upgrade process, enter the key. And if it says the key is valid, it's okay. You got a free ride to Windows 10. A lot of people are actually getting that free ride. And remember, it's all dependent on the age of your machine once again. So uh, only eight days left for the last Bash Tuesday for Windows 7. Incredible to think that's already 10 years past. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.